You're watching Greater Brockton, special edition. We're bringing to you the candidates for mayor, council at large, city council, and school committee. And I have a new face for TV, uh, candidate for Ward 4 City Council, Derek Barrows. Derek, welcome uh, well, to Greater well, Brockton. Thank nice you for having me. Nice to have you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Um, Pleasure is mine. First time candidate. Yes. What got you into this political spectrum? Uh, I've always wanted to be in politics. Um, I, was, I went to, I was a political science major, I wanted to be an attorney uh, for a while. Uh, but the thing that kind of set me off was I've always wanted to work with people, help people. Um, and in the seventh grade, I was, you know, I was acting up, I wasn't behaving. You know, the teacher just had the most serious conversation with me I've ever had. You know, he pulled me aside one day, I'd gone to the office or got in trouble. And he said, if you smarten up, you can do anything in this world. He said, if you just start behaving, you're smart. You're intelligent, you're handsome. He said, you could even be the mayor of Brockton one day. So I basically will never forget that one time in my life that he told me that. Now, I talked to you off camera a little bit before mm -hmm. we went on. You're a candidate in a master's degree program right now. Yes. Correct, tell us about that. I'm currently enrolled, I'm in my third semester at Cambridge College. Um, my program is School Adjustment Mental Health Counseling with a focus in gang violence. Wow, I mean, Obviously, that conversation you just told me about had a major, yeah, major impact major. on you, and now you want to turn around and help others. And also, by running for city council, you want to help others. Yes, okay. yes. I, it started with I took a job. Um, I graduated in college in 2016. I took a job in finance, you know, chasing money, not looking at, you know, some of my experience with kids that I had at the United Nations Association of Greater Boston and Cambridge at Harvard. You know, and I worked with kids, and I loved it um, the, in, the year before that. Um, but I, it got to March. I started to apply for jobs, and I basically was a case lander for uh, McAdam in Boston. I mm -hmm. um, went through a month of training, and I just finally just looked myself in the mirror and said, this, is, this isn't for me. Okay. Um, and I took the rest of the summer off, and I said, you know, I'm going to go back to, the, you know, that same person that helped me, Brockton Public Schools, when I was in seventh grade. And I said, I'm going to work with kids. There you go. Now I'm an MTA at Brockton High. There you go. Monitor teaching assistant. Yes. Right? Okay, I know what that Climbing is. Climbing the ladder. My mother was a teacher <laughs> in Brockton. I come from a whole family of educators. Yeah. I teach at Massasoit. My dad taught there and at Stonehill. My mother was Brockton Schools. Both my grandmothers were teachers. So it's in the blood. Those are my favorite yeah, two that's, days. Yeah, that's one of my later goals, hopefully, to teach know. college. But if you think about it, being a counselor, you're a teacher in a lot of ways. Yeah. You're, you're a helper in a lot of ways. So you also said to me off camera, you're a homeowner. You're a new, yes. new homeowner. Yes, I just bought a house on Forest Street in Ward 4. Um, like I said, I grew up, I went to school at Davis in Ward 4. Uh, all my friends I went to Davis with, childhood friends I'm still friends with, live in Ward 4 as well. Um, but I lived, on, I lived in Ward 3 before on Forest Ave. So, you know, I've always had the connection to Ward 4. South 2? South Middle? No, I stayed at, I was the first year Davis went to K-8. to eight, so. K to, Oh, okay, there you go. So I was eight years in that And place. then you went to Brockton High? No, I was a Spelman oh, grad. Spelman grad, okay. A lot of, uh, Jack Lally's a Spelman yes, grad. Yes, 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 we okay. went to school together. Good, good school. Um, I was there, uh, they did an interesting program. They had Andy Card, who was the chief of staff to George W. Bush. Yep. And he was there on 9-11. He spoke about experience that day. It was very interesting. Wow. Good kids at Spelman. Good yes, school. Yes. We, it was, we do some of their sports. We, we have a lot of fun with Spelman. Yeah. So um, you're in an interesting race. It's an open seat. Yes. Paul Stadensky, who the longtime counselor, former police chief, decided to step down and yes. not run for re-election. So there's three candidates in the race. I never ask a candidate to name the other candidates because that's the first rule of politics. You yes. don't have to do that. No. But we'll be interviewing all three candidates. All you guys have, I believe, have agreed to all have a debate. Hopefully yes. we'll be able to do that and cover the race. So you're out there putting up signs. I saw a Facebook post that you they were going up in the dark yes. last week. Yes. So what what's the word out on the street? What are you hearing the back? What are people talking about the issues? My experience so far has been I could even tell you about the people, the good things about the people in Wolf 4. Um, everyone that I've personally met has been awesome. You know, there's been some people who brought me, told me, hey, come inside, let's have some coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, I say, I'll take a water and drink coffee. Right. Okay. Um, and I've had 30 minute conversations with people. I've had people who've asked me from any subject, you know, that has to do with Brockton, from power plant to desal. Um, so I've had a positive, I've had a positive um, experience so far. And it's going to keep going until Till the end. 
I'm going to ask you a question, um, and not to be ageist or anything like no, that. No, I no, just, no. I just had my 56th birthday, okay? You're, both of the candidates that you're running against yes. are older. Yes. Some people, and I'm not advocating on their behalf, but some people would say, okay, they have experience. Mm -hmm. He's the new kid on the board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you say to refute um, that? I tell people that, you know, some of these experiences that people have, they're great experience, but over experience is life experience. You know, I've lived in the city 24 years, and I come from maybe a piece of society that's on the other side. I don't come from wealth. I don't come from, you know, my parents weren't, you know, high-ranking politicians. My parents were you know, factory workers. My dad was a construction worker. Um, so I bring that other perspective to politics now. Um, even though I'm 24, in my college years, I was involved in everything from student government to, you know, giving tours, you know. I traveled to Rome um, to debate um, with the United Nations. So I have a lot of experience in my short 24 years. I did that model United Nations yeah. when I was at Stonehill. Yeah, it was a great experience. Great experience. I was bummed out this year. Rotary, which was one of the founding mm -hmm. founders of the United Nations, they have a United Nations Day every year in November. Not happening this year. It's in Switzerland. I don't wow. think I can go. I wanted to go because <laughs> usually they have it at UN headquarters. Yeah. And I've always wanted to go, and I was thinking of going this year, but who knows? So if you think about United Nations, let's go local. Yeah. You have 10 other colleagues on the city council yes. that you have to work with. A ward councilor gets the calls, the, the yeah. street's not plowed, the, the dog's barking, whatever. And then there are four at-large councilors that are also, like, uh, the way I look at it, I, have, I live in Ward 1, so I have a councilor, and then I have four other councilors that represent yep. me. Someone the mayor, has to the de delegation. How are you at getting along with other people um, and working together to deal with the consensus? Or, or, on the other hand, being the lone rebel that might... Um, not agree with the mm -hmm. other ten. So talk about. I still find this, the basic concept that you know sometimes when you're telling the truth, you're not the only guy standing. Whereas you know, no matter what happens, I always have the people, my constituents' best interests at heart. Um, I was opposed to someone on everyone on the city council. We're all working for the greater good of the community, and we're doing everything for the people. You know, the people are the ones that got us elected. So for us to be, you know, work on our own egos, our own interests, is totally against what, what was, we stand for. Give me one of your, tell me what a special skill that you would bring to the table that maybe the two people that are, you're running against don't have. I don't know if you know their background or their record, but what makes you, what, what makes you stand out? I would say, for my two cans, I would say I bring, just like you said, a new school, a new style of, you know, negotiating and working together um, that some other kids may not have. You know, there's, I don't go back on the old rules of, you know, negotiating. If something doesn't happen, you just leave it. You know, there's always something you can do. There's always some, a way to make something better. And there's always ways to negotiate and make, uh, even if not agree to disagree, but make everyone at the table happy. So family and, you said girlfriend, yes. everybody behind you? Yeah, they've... What do your parents think? My mom was maybe... So nervous. I, I don't even know how to explain it. She just, when I told her, she was kind of like, are you sure about this? Do you want to do this? My mom's very opposite of me, very reserved, very, you know, talks really low. Mm -hmm. um, so she was very surprised, but she supports me 100%. Okay. Girlfriend okay? Yeah, Young she's boy? she's the treasurer. She's been, Okay. sometimes I wonder if, she, you know, who does more work, me or her? Treasurer? My wife was the treasurer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, and, yeah I'm, I'm a state employee, so I can't raise money. Yes. It's difficult. But she did that. I think the only thing her and I ever argued about was the money. Yeah. <laughs> we don't <laughs> argue about much. But the, is, the, is that decimal point in the right place or whatever? So um, let people know how. I'm going to give you two minutes at the end if you want it to mm -hmm. kind of sell yourself. But phone number, website, Facebook. How do people get in touch with you if they want to get involved or ask you questions or whatever? Yes, yeah, so you can reach us at um, electderekbarrows at gmail.com. Uh, where you, you can go on to Facebook. Find our Facebook page there. Everything that we post um, that's KPA related is on there, as well as you can find me on my personal Facebook. You can find, um, you can also contact me at my phone number, 508 965 9403. You know, any time of the day, people say, you know, you know, after nine, don't call. If there's an issue and you feel that's important, call. Okay, so issues that happen, Ward 4, for whatever reason, 
seems to be the dumping ground. Yes. There's a sewage treatment plant there. There's a capped landfill there. There was a power plant proposed for being there. Yes. At one point, the city said, let's put the adult entertainment zone there, which didn't happen. It's over on uh, Frank's on, on Pearl Street. Yep. If you get elected Ward 4 city councilor, how much, how strongly would you advocate for your residents not to continue that trend in Ward 4? I would advocate it 100% because, you know, even though we're, even though our ward has those things in it, it's still a beautiful ward. We still have a lot to offer. We still have great neighborhoods. So the dumping grounds with all those industrial uh, companies has to stop. Like the power plant deal, um, me personally, I was not, I'm, not, I'm not for it because I feel like it poses a, a lot more negatives than positives. Mm -hmm. And even the positive with you know, some economic value could go both ways. And it could, if it goes negative, could fall on the back of the taxpayers. Okay. Um, is two minutes, is that what I got? Three. Okay. I'm going to give you two minutes if you want it. Sell yourself. Look directly in the camera. Forget that I'm here. Mm -hmm. Tell people why they should vote for Derek Barrows. All right. Um, first, thank you, Mark. Um, you guys should vote for Derek Browns because it's a vote for integrity, it's a vote for the people of uh, Brockton, and it's a vote for better. Uh, one of our signature lines is Barrows for better um, because what we're getting now in the city is not adequate. We need better. So vote for Derek Browns on September 19th. Okay, and Derek, um, I got enough time because you didn't take it all. Yeah, go okay. short and sweet. Um, real quick. Yes. The mayor has a proposal to buy the desalinization yes. plant. Good idea, bad idea from your point of view? From my point of view, I would say it is a bad idea. I would say that we should move to MW, Massachusetts Water Resource Agency um, just based on sheer numbers. You know, it's cheaper for us to run water through them. We'll have a one-time fee that'll be expensive, but we also won't be paying $6 million a year to get less than 5% or less than 7% of water. Okay, well, you, I know we're gonna see you on the campaign yes. trail. We have three exciting races for council going on. Um, there's a mayor's race as well. Everything goes to November. Yep. So you got to get through the top two to get there. And you expressed a lot of confidence yes, when I was talking yes. to you off air. So I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thanks so for thank coming you for having me. Greater Brockton. Thank you. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more candidates, election coverage on Brockton Community Access channels 9 and 12. Uh, we'll see you on the campaign trail. Make sure the one thing you do, though, is go out and vote in the preliminary. Yes. We don't want a small turnout. We want your voice to be heard. Thanks for joining us.